Yo guys, welcome to our channel today and again today we're going to talk about a very essential component or mineral in our body. Previously we talked about magnesium in general, but today I'm going to talk about 12 strange signs your body needs to uh, uh, that your body needs ma magnesium. So 12 strange signs your body needs that your body needs uh, magnesium. That's what we're going to address uh, today, guys. And kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe because that's the best way in which you can uh, always support us. Guys, today we're going to talk about matters uh, magnesium. And I'm going to talk about the strange signs your bo uh, you can have in your body which can show you that uh, you really need the magnesium. So magnesium is a very essential mineral that plays a very important role in our body. Uh, that crucial role is very numerous. And from our previous video on magnesium, kind of you can watch it. It's called magnesium in, in our channel. And we address the very important aspects of uh, magnesium in uh, that uh, video. So it's a, very, uh, it's a very important component in our body. So, and uh, it has many bodily functions including muscle and nerve function, uh, blood glucose control, uh, uh, control in the blood, and the bone health at the, at the end of the day. So deficiency in magnesium can manifest in various unusual uh, strange symptoms. Here are the 12 signs that your body might need more magnesium. Number one is about muscle twitches and also cramps. If you have those uh, muscle uh, twitches and also cramps, these are involuntary, involuntary muscle spasms, twitches, and also cramps. So especially in the, in the legs, can be a sign of magnesium deficiency at the end of the day. So this occur due, due to uh, disrupted nerve uh, function and also uh, muscle contraction. Number two is about uh, mental disorders where we have uh, mood changes such as depression and also anxiety, irritability which can uh, be linked to low magnesium levels uh, and this magnesium plays a role in brain function uh, and also mood regulation so you may have mental disorders due to the disturbed magnesium levels in our body number three is about osteoporosis where we have magnesium is very crucial uh, for bone health and when we have a deficiency which lead can lead to weaker bones and increased risk of osteoporosis and also fractures also, number four is about fatigue, where um, fatigue and the muscle weakness, where persistent fatigue, muscle weakness, and also general lethargy can be indicative of magnesium shortfall, and also as a mineral is very vital for energy production. Number five is about high blood pressure, where magnesium helps regulate the blood pressure. So deficiency can contribute to the hypertension, increase risk of uh, cardiovascular issues. Number six is about the asthma, where severe asthma can be related to uh, low magnesium levels. Magnesium deficiency can cause constriction of the airway, airways and also making breathing uh, very difficult. Number seven is about irregular heartbeat, because also known as arrhythmia. Uh, an irregular heartbeat can be a serious sign of magnesium deficiency, and magnesium is very essential for maintaining normal heart uh, rhythm. At the end of the day. Number eight is a tingling and uh, numbness where we have a lack of magnesium can affect the nervous system leading to tingling, uh, numbness and also a sensation of uh, pins and needles especially in the hands and uh, feet. Number nine is about personality changes where extreme deficiency can lead to uh, personality changes such as apathy and confusion and also numbness, uh, and also uh, what you call delirium, and also severe mental illness in extreme uh, cases. So we have these uh, personality issues coming up, like uh, apathy and confusion, or delirium, and uh, severe mental illnesses in extreme cases. So number 10 is about poor, uh, poor sleep, where yeah, magnesium is a very, plays a role in the function of neurotransmitters, uh, especially what we call serotonin, which regulates the sleep. So insomnia or restless sleep can be a sign of uh, it is a uh, deficiency. Number 11 is about eye, tw eye twitches. 
So involuntary twitching of the eyelids, uh, also or a play fally, fally spasm. Uh, so can be a minor theater uh, telling sign of a magnesium deficiency. So involuntary twitching of the eyelids or what you call eye twitches can also be, be there. Number, ten, number 12 is about uh, sugar cravings. Intense craving of chocolate or sugar foods uh, might be a, a subtle indicator of the magnesium deficiency where mass magnesium plays a role in the glucose metabolism. So the usual signs can just suggest that your body needs more magnesium. If you suspect a deficiency, it is important to consult with your healthcare provider for proper, proper diagnosis and treatment. So increasing dietary intake of magnesium from the foods like nuts, seeds, whole grains and green uh, leafy vegetables or taking supplements is advi as advised by healthcare provider can help to address the uh, magnesium uh, defici deficiency. So how do we manage these 12 signs we've talked about uh, in case they happen in, uh, as a, as a, when we have this deficiency of magnesium? So, so managing magnesium deficiency, it involves dietary adjustments where lifestyle changes, takes root, and if necessary supplementation can, 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 can take place. And uh, I'm going to give some comprehensive guide on how effectively one can manage magnesium uh, deficiency. So number one is about dietary uh, adjustment where increasing uh, in magnesium rich foods and when we talk about uh, increased uh, magnesium rich foods we are talking for the things like uh, nuts and seeds where almonds, cashew nuts, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds are very rich in this magnesium. All grain, we talk about brown rice, quinoa, oats and also whole wheat products. Number, we are also talking about leafy greens like spinach, kale and Swiss uh, curd. Also we are talking about legumes where we talk about black beans, chickpeas, lentils and also edamame. Edamame can also be a good source of as a legume for uh, magnesium. Fruits, we have bananas and avocados and dried fruits like figs and raisins. Uh, they are very rich in magnesium. Also fish, like when we talk about salmon, and also mackerel, and also halibut, can be very rich in magnesium. Also, uh, as on dietary, we have dark chocolate. Uh, choose high cocoa content dark chocolate, because it, it uh, really contains uh, good magnesium for your body. Number two, avoid processed foods. We talk about reduce the intake of processed foods as they have a lack essential nutrients, including magnesium. Also, balanced diet is very important. Ensure a well-rounded diet, including the foods to cover the nutritional basis, which can be very important. Also, we have other part of supplementation where magnesium supplements can be key in helping you achieve uh, what you need in your in your in your in your in your body. So if dietary changes are insufficient, consider magnesium supplementation. Consult with the healthcare provider to uh, give appropriate dosage, e.g. magnesium sulfate, magnesium oxide, or magnesium glycinate, where as appropriate. Also, on supplementation, we have multivitamins, which contain uh, uh, magnesium, may be convenient to boost also your intake. That's the part of the dietary adjustments. The other part we have is about uh, uh, lifestyle changes, where, where by, by lifestyle changes, in lifestyle changes we have uh, hydration, where we take drink a lot of water to help over our metabolic functions and absorption of uh, nutrients. Number two, we talk about reduce alcohol and caffeine. So excessive consumption of alcohol and caffeine can deplete the magnesium levels. Number three is about limit sugar intake. High sugar consumption can increase the excretion of magnesium in the urine. So very important that you limit your sugar intake if you want to retain good magnesium in your, in your body. Number another point about uh, and the management, we talk about medical management. So regular checkups, periodic blood tests uh, can monitor magnesium levels, especially if you have uh, conditions which can predispose you to this deficiency. And uh, by this we mean uh, the conditions such as uh, 
uh, diabetes and also gastrointestinal disorders which uh, deplete the body with the magnesium. And also number two on the medical part of it, we address the underlying conditions. Uh, so treat underlying health issues that contribute to magnesium deficiency such as chronic diarrhea and also uh, where we can help the body retain the magnesium. So uh, kidney problems or use of certain medications like diuretics and also proton pump inhibitors, they can really deplete your body with uh, this uh, magnesium thing. So, and also on the other part, uh, after the medical management, we have stress management, where relaxation techniques, uh, where practice relaxation techniques like uh, yoga, uh, meditation, deep breathing exercises, uh, as stress can deplete magnesium levels. So relaxation techniques can help you uh, retain this, this magnesium. Number two is about on the stress management, we have uh, adequate sleep. Ensure you get enough sleep as rest is uh, crucial for overall health of your body and also for nutrient absorption. So on the other part of it, also monitoring and adjustment. So you need to, symptom, you need number one, to symptom tracking. Keep track of symptoms that may be indicated in the low magnesium levels, like we talked about muscle cramps, fatigue and mood changes, and adjust your diet uh, or supplementation as needed. Uh, number two, on the monitoring and adjustment, continuous learning. Always be stay informed about signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency and update your management as a new information becomes available. So effectively manage magnesium deficiency requires a holistic approach that includes dietary improvement, lifestyle modifications, and when necessary, supplementation. So regular monitoring, working closely with your healthcare professional can really help you achieve the magnesium levels uh, within the normal range according to your need. So thereby, you are preventing the complications and enhancing the overall well-being. So sometimes we have uh, very serious complications related to magnesium deficiency which can lead to several health complications if not addressed well. So here are some of the potential complications which are associated with the prolonged low levels of magnesium so in the body. So number one is about cardiovascular complications where uh, number one we talk about uh, high blood pressure. Magnesium help, uh, helps to regulate the blood pressure so and deficiency can lead to increase the blood pressure raising the risk of heart disease and also stroke. Number two is about arrhythmia. We are, uh, when we talk about arrhythmia, we're talking about irregular heartbeat. So magnesium is a crucial for maintaining normal heartbeat so, and rhythm. So deficiency, deficiency causes arrhythmias, which can be serious and require medical attention. Number three, on the cardiovascular, we have increased risk for heart attack. Chronic uh, low magnesium levels can contribute to acetylcholosis or hardening of the arteries and also increase the risk of heart attacks. Number two on the complications, we have neuromuscular complications. And when we talk about this, we're talking about muscular cramps and also spasms. So because of the magnesium deficiency can cause painful muscle cramps, spasms and twitches affecting daily activities and also overall quality of life. Number two on the neuromuscular complications, we have seizures, where in severe cases, lack of magnesium can lead to seizures due to its role in the neuromuscular uh, function. Number three is about uh, numbness and tingling, where low magnesium uh, uh, levels can cause numbness and tingling, especially on the extremities. And when we talk about the extremities, we talk about the hands, and also we talk about the legs uh, having that tingling, and also numbness on the legs, and also uh, numbness and tingling on the hands. Also, we have uh, mental health complications where we have depression and anxiety as the, one of the things. We have magnesium because magnesium plays a very important role in our brain function. So the mood and also mood regulation. So deficiency can lead to depression and anxiety and impacting the uh, well-being of our mental health. Also, we have cognitive impairment where long deficiency may contribute to the cognitive issues including difficulty with concentrations and also memory and also learning can be affected. Bone health is also complications also come up, up 
because number one which comes about with the bone health complications is what we call osteoporosis because magnesium plays a very important role in bone formation and health so deficiency can lead to bone uh, decrease the bone density and increasing risk for uh, fractures and also osteoporosis metabolic complications we have insulin resistance low magnesium levels with, uh, with uh, can cause insulin resistance which can contribute to the development of type 2 diabetes. Also, hypocalcemia and hypokalemia can pop up uh, as, a, as, a, as a metabolic complications where now low level of, of, of magnesium can lead to low level of calcium and also potassium in the blood and the low level of potassium in the blood leading to complications of uh, uh, metabolic and also electrolyte balance. On the gastrointestinal complications, constipation comes about. So with because magnesium helps regulate the bowel uh, movement, deficiency can lead to constipation and other digestive issues. Also, on another level of complications, we have pregnancy uh, complications. And when you talk about pregnancy complications, preeclampsia is one of the things which is talked about. So uh, pregnant women with low magnesium levels are at higher risk of developing the preeclampsia, a condition characterized by high blood pressure and the potential damage to organs such as the liver and also the kidneys. Number two is about premature labor. Magnesium deficiency can increase the risk of preterm labor and also complications during uh, pregnancy. Other complications which can come up, up is about chronic fatigue, where magnesium is vital for energy production. Uh, deficiency can result in chronic uh, fatigue and the weakness affecting the daily activity and also overall well-being of uh, an individual. Also, number two is about migraine, where magnesium deficiency is linked to uh, migraines and severe headache. So, this can also can be... So guys, uh, as a matter of uh, other complications, we have magnesium deficiency can uh, uh, lead to a, uh, a range of serious uh, health complications affecting the cardiovascular, neuromuscular, uh, mental and metabolic health at that particular at that some point. So uh, with the, it is very necessary if one doesn't get this good uh, source of this uh, uh, of uh, magnesium to get uh, supplementation at that particular point because supplementation also can work very well. Also, regular monitoring with your healthcare provider can really help you to uh, achieve what is needed. So, how can we prevent the magnesium deficiency? It involves adopting a balanced diet, maintaining a healthy lifestyle, and also addressing underlying health conditions. And here are some of the effective strategies which have been seen to work to prevent magnesium uh, deficiency. Number one is about talking about uh, dietary and when we talk about uh, dietary strategies we, we must consume uh, a dietary rich in uh, magnesium food, magnesium, magnesium. So incorporated foods are high in, in, uh, high in magnesium into your diet. So these include number one is about nuts and seeds and when we talk about nuts and seeds we're talking about almonds cashews, pumpkin seeds, and also sunflower seeds. Leafy uh, greens, we are talking about spinach, kale, and Swiss curd, very important. Whole grains, we are talking about brown rice, quinoa, oatmeal, and also whole wheat products. Number, also we are talking about legumes, where we talk about black beans, we talk about lentils, we could talk about chickpeas, and also edamame. Also fruits, we talk about bananas, we talk about avocados, and dried uh, fruit like figs and raisins. And when we talk about fish, we're talking about salmon, mackerel, and also halbert. So also we talk about dark uh, chocolate. Choose high cocoa content dark chocolate is very high in this uh, magnesium thing. Also avoid uh, processed foods because the uh, oven, they, they don't uh, contain this uh, uh, magnesium. Balanced diet is very important so that you cover nutritional needs, including adequate intake of vitamins and minerals to aid magnesium absorption. Lifestyle strategies, 
as a form of prevention, regular exercise, engage in regular physical activity such as walking, running, swimming or, uh, yo or yoga which can improve overall health and nutrient absorption. Stay hydrated and we don't talk about staying hydrated, we drink of water throughout the day to help maintain proper bodily uh, function and support uh, the nutrient uh, absorption. Number three is about moderate alcohol and caffeine intake where limit excessive alcohol and caffeine consumption because they interfere with the magnesium absorption and also in, in increasing the excretion or removal of the magnesium from the body. Also, very important, uh, reduce this uh, sugar intake because uh, uh, sugar uh, foods and also beverages can deplete magnesium uh, levels. Also, on the other part of management, it's about medical supplement strategies. So supplements, consult with the healthcare provider to find the proper uh, dosage, especially for magnesium citrate, magnesium oxide, magnesium glycinate, so that uh, you get proper uh, dosages, which can really help you get uh, to this, uh, uh, get the proper dosage, which can really help you. Also, regular checkups, very important. Uh, your routine checkups with the healthcare provider to monitor your magnesium levels, especially if you have conditions that predispose you to deficiency. Also, as a, a preventive, uh, as a preventive measure, address the underlying conditions by managing health conditions, properly manage chronic illness, illnesses such as uh, diabetic, diabetes, gastrointestinal uh, disorders kidney problems which can affect uh, magnesium levels. Medical medication review is very important also on addressing underlying conditions. If you are taking medication that affect magnesium uh, absorption, such as diuretics, proton pump inhibitors for the ulcers, stomach ulcers, discuss with the healthcare provider about the potential supplementation or dietary adjustments. Also another part of uh, this management of the magnesium deficiency is about stress management. Relaxation techniques, we talk about the breathing exercise, we're talking about yoga, we're talking about meditation, we're talking about mindfulness or reduce stress where, so that you don't deplete your magnesium levels. Uh, adequate sleep is also a very important aspect in stress management to ensure enough uh, restorative sleep as good sleep hygiene supports overall well-being and also health and also nutri nutrient balance because it gives the body time to absorb the nit nutrients from whatever you've taken that day. Education and awareness, stay informed. Educate yourself about signs and symptoms of magnesium deficiency and the importance of magnesium in overall health. Two, communicate with the healthcare provider. Maintain open communication with the healthcare providers about concerns or symptoms that suggest magnesium deficiency. So guys, uh, it's very important to monitor the signs and symptoms for magnesium deficiency. And when we talk about signs and symptoms, we talk about muscle twitches, we talk about mental, uh, mental uh, disorders like depression and anxiety, we talk about osteoporosis, we talk about fatigue and weakness, we talk about high blood pressure, asthma, irregular heartbeat, we're talking about tingling and numbness, personality changes, poor sleep, eye twitches and sugar uh, cravings. So on the management of the deficiency, we talk about dietary adjustment, we talk about supplementation, we talk about lifestyle changes, we talk about medical management and also on the complication of magnesium, we talked about cardiovascular issues like uh, hypertension, arrhythmias, and increased heart risk, uh, neuromuscular problems including muscle cramps, spasms, and also seizures. We talk about bony health problems like osteoporosis. We talk about mental health issues like uh, depression, anxiety, and also cognitive impairment. We talk about gastrointestinal issues such as constipation. We talk about pregnancy-related complications like preeclampsia and also premature labor. Chronic fatigue and migraine are also, also uh, complications of uh, magne uh, magnesium. So on the prevention part of it, we talked about dietary uh, strategies by eating the balanced diet, rich in, food, rich in, in magnesium. I've given the classes of those foods, nuts, in, in terms of legumes, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, fish, uh, we talked about the same. So kindly, you can... Uh, you can rewind the video and see what how we, we talked about the sources of magnesium. 
Stress management is very important as a preventive measure. Medical and uh, supplemental strategies very important. Education and awareness, keeping you uh, upbeat with the magnesium deficiency and its causes is very important. So maintaining adequate magnesium levels is very crucial, guys, for overall health. By adopting a balanced diet and also healthy lifestyle and a productive medical management, individuals can prevent magnesium deficiency. And it's associated with complications. Uh, regular monitoring and professional guidance are very important to ensure that the optimal magnesium levels and overall well-being uh, is uh, really addressed. Guys, welcome. The channel is now been. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Uh, we're in a journey to 10,000 subscribers. Kindly, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Give us a nice comment below. By liking the video, you get YouTube to recommend our videos so that you may reach a larger population. Such good videos like this one, we need to reach, we, it needs to reach millions and millions of uh, people. And by you liking it, you get it to recommend it to that, that kind of people. So by, by you, by not liking the video, you are denying that person to get such kind of information, which we don't get anywhere else apart from here in the Nazivin channel. Guys, welcome. And I want to welcome you to our next video. Peace, guys, and we love you very much.